we will be creating a script that moves the camera around our player so we can see it from different angles here as you can see it also follows the player and we can rotate around to see how it looks from different views so yeah that's what we will be creating today so let's jump straight into unity here I have a truck model mm. uh, you can use any model for your player and I have uh, the truck model has a drive script which is basically a which car controller script that I made in the previous video if you haven't watched that please watch that first then please come here okay now let's start uh, if you will see what I have done here is that in the truck I have the camera which means the camera is the child of the truck so because of that the camera only follows the truck that's not what we want we want it to rotate around it so let's start it first we're going to create a in our truck drivable I'm going to make in the body a new in the body a new game object empty rename this to the pivot you can locate this anywhere you want depending upon how your camera will rotate around it so if basically we say here the camera will move around here and here and here and if you were to center this like I have this will move around the truck so you could put it anywhere depending on your need now in this pivot I'm going to make the, the camera I'm going to make it a child of the pivot now we won't be moving the camera we will be moving the pivot so as you can see if we oh sorry if we rotate the pivot our camera rotates too and as you can see the views we are getting is what really we need so having pivot we are going to make a new script let's just call it mouse rotation because it will move with our mouse let's select C sharp create an add let's double click to open up in any text editor that you have I have mono develop you might have something else such as visual studio or many others okay <laughs> okay now first of all uh, let's make in a public flow sensitivity this will be how much sensitive our mouse will be when we are going to rotate it so and now move this away we don't need that now here we're going to say a new variable and that will be the mouse position that will be equal to input dot get axis oh wait a second variable mouse pause equal to new vector 2 because our mouse just moves on the x and y axis not the z axis which how can tell its backside x is this y is this i mean you can go nothing else anywhere so new vector 2 this will be the input to get axis for the mouse x and then there will be input dot get exists and this will be the mouse y now what this method is going to do that it's going to make a new variable that will be of type vector 2 uh, that will be named mouse pause and what they're going to do the x value will return 1 
if we are moving upwards it will return zero if we're just stationary the mouse and this mouse is stationary and if we are going downwards it will give a negative one value and this just tells the y value that the same thing the input get exists mouse y this will get us the mouse y value uh, if we're going upwards it'll give a positive one if we go downwards a negative one and if it's just stationary it'll just give zero so now let's move this so we're going to say transform that rotate and the first two ones are going to be our x and y values so let's just say mouse pause dot x that will return whatever if we are moving x then it will give a positive one value and then mouse pause dot x then we're going to say mouse pause dot y and comma zero because we do not want to rotate it around the z axis okay that looks good so I back into unity oh, sorry anything can get wrong we don't know what can get wrong let's see if it works please let it work hard no it's not working oh sorry I saw what I made wrong the sensitivity is set to zero let's just set it up like one please let it work no it's still wrong now you can see here it is giving me an error input exist mouse x is not set up so let me just see in the project settings input axis these are all of that that we will oh so i see i did not give a space <laughs> silly me so we're going to give a space here and another space here let's save that again head back into unity and now when we run we can see it rotating but something is wrong it is moving around the wrong axis we do not want it to rotate here and there we want it to rotate on this circle although the up and down i think is correct but it is on the wrong mouse direction so let's get back and first of all i want to change this to y i want to change this to x good now let's see what happens in the changes <laughs> come on load okay now okay it's now up and down is okay but still left and right is wrong so now let's see let's just select our pivot and let's see which axis we need to move it around so we don't want to move it around this axis which is the z axis we have been moving it around the wrong axis just move this here will be zero this will be input dot yeah, exist oh sorry we already have that mouse pause dot uh, x okay now this should work I guess and just let it load okay now oh it's looking good hmm but something okay yeah yeah it works it's good looking good <laughs> now well i can just play around with my car and just move around see how it looks from different angles <laughs> and if i think the sensitivity is a little low i'll just bump it up to like three and that's looking a little good just move around and look it from other angles i think it's the sensitivity should be allowed to 10 um, still low let's just say about 20 oh, oh, still low I think something about 40 will look good yeah that's good that's looking good oh wait a second then nothing is going to happen to the sensitivity oh, oh stupid ass we haven't used it here 
so we're going to say mouse pause to y multiplied by sensitivity the sensitivity variable variable was not being used anywhere multiply by the then seven sensitivity plus now let's go back here now we should be seeing our sensitivity working sensitivity variable working hmm it's less let's just pump it up to like 20 oh and that's too much i see <laughs> we should take it about four ah that is looking very good ah <laughs> so that's all thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video and if this video helped you don't forget to give a like and subscribe so you didn't miss a future video on for that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video